Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel and to another video. If you're new here, welcome and thank you so much for clicking in. As you can see by the title, I am going to be unboxing the Amazon Baby Registry Welcome Box. You look so beautiful And I'm so lucky to be yours I got this in two days ago and it's still sealed it's been so hard not to open it and see what's inside but I wanted to make sure I get the unboxing on camera so I am going to be seeing it for the first time as I open it this is what it looks like so it's a pretty decent size and all I had to do to get this box was create our Amazon baby registry go through their little checklist they have and either add something in each category to our registry or just check the box, something we already have or we don't need or something like that. And then somebody, us or someone else, would purchase $10 worth of product from the registry and then they will send you the box. So it was really, really simple. You're obviously gonna purchase $10 worth of stuff anyways, so it was really easy to do. We did decide just to register on Amazon this time around because of everything going on in the world. We just figured it would be a lot more simple to have it all in one place and for people to be able to just order and ship rather than having to go to stores and things like that just to be safe we wanted to keep it just to Amazon this time so let's go ahead and break into this thing maybe not the safest but I've got a knife um, if you know me you know why I say that but let's get this open okay okay so this is what it looks like on the inside it's super cute and it's got a little card it says we hope you enjoy the special delivery compliments of amazon baby registry and you can go to the link here to find the items they have in here if you want to purchase more of them um so that's what that says the box actually has some tips which is cool there's a temperature test to um, basically give you a tip on how to test your baby's milk temperature before you give it to them and then a pump number one two how many pumps of lotion does each part of your baby's body need um, so it gives you tips for that that's really cool and then it has a website up here too that you can go to to learn how to make every moment a brain building moment so cool that it's just more than a box Okay, so opening it, opening the paper, this is what it looks like. So I'm just gonna pull out each thing one at a time and read it off to you and show it to you. So the first thing we have is a ma'am, I think that's how you pronounce it, ma'am um, bottle. So let's take it out of the package actually because you can't really see it. So that's what the bottle looks like. And I am going to be breastfeeding, but we did register for Tommy Tippy bottles on our registry, just four of them, for times where we want to have a date night and someone needs to dethaw some breast milk and feed him with that. So it'll actually be kind of nice to have a different brand of bottle in case he doesn't like the Tommy Tippy ones. So this will actually come in handy, and I'm really happy with that. Then we have the Philips Avent disposable breast pads. There's two of them in there. So just basically a trial size to try it out and see how you like it. I also registered for the ones, the reusable ones that you can wash, the fabric ones. Um, but it is probably nice to have some disposable ones on hand for when you're out and about. Um, the next thing is this one use sample pack of Dreft laundry detergent. And we just use all free and clear for all of our laundry. Um, obviously I'll use this because I have it, why not? But uh, this is a little more expensive than what we get. So unless his skin has any reaction to the free and clear we use, we'll be sticking to what we have there. And then there is a single use Aquaphor diaper rash paste sample in there. Uh, 
if we use this at all it will only be in probably like his first week of life because we are cloth diapering so we wouldn't be able to use that when we are cloth diapering but we are going to use disposables for the first week or so until all of the meconium is done with and possibly even until his stump falls off for his umbilical cord that way we don't um irritate it at all we do have a few cloth diapers we registered for that have a little snap down for that so we could probably use those for that too but i'm sure we'll be using disposables a little bit as well then the next thing we have is this travel size baby wash and shampoo the cetaphil or cetaphil brand so we did not register for any baby wash or shampoo we were just going to purchase some on our own so whether it's using this on him or the girls or something it'll definitely get used up the next thing we have in here are these water wipes the world's purest baby wipes definitely will be useful i'll probably honestly put these in the diaper bag let's see how many are there so there's 10 wipes in here so i'll probably just throw these in the diaper bag for quick and easy like cleanups when we're at a restaurant or something like the girls faces honestly probably will get some use out of those so those will go in the diaper bag and then oh it's a cute one so we got a onesie this is so cute simple joys by carters it's a three to six month bodysuit so let's open that up i've watched a couple of these unboxings from amazon and a couple of them have gotten these multicolored striped onesies and i am not a fan so i'm really excited that we got this one because it is adorable it's got the animals on it so so cute i love that that's honestly worth it just on its own and then the very last thing in here is this amazing baby muslin swaddle it's a breathable super soft cotton blanket so that's neat i wasn't expecting to get a swaddle in there but let's open it and see what it looks like so it comes with a little mini catalog in case you want to order more of their products and then this is super soft this is really really soft this will be really nice um we are using the uh i can't remember what it's called but they're like the velcro zip up swaddles sleep sacks for him instead of the blankets just for safety but we'll use this for like tucking over his legs while he's in the car seat or things like that so it's huge <laughs> i can't even show you how big it is because i don't have i'm not back far enough but it is huge and it's got zebras on it so that is super super cute too honestly if the onesie and this swaddle blanket were the only thing in here i'd be happy with it so i love the welcome box i am surprised with how much actual stuff is in it especially the onesie and blanket i mean you expect the travel size stuff but not like full size actual like nice carters and name brand stuff so i am really thrilled with it and then i'm just seeing here you can also use this swaddle blanket as a burp cloth a privacy blanket you can use it as a little play mat a sun shield you can kind of it's seriously big enough where i can throw it over top of his um car seat and it'll block the sun a stroller cover stuff like that and it has instructions on how to swaddle too uh, in case you do want to use it for that purpose there we go so it has the instructions on there so love it so that is all for today's video it's just a short and sweet one this week but we have a lot more content coming at you i'm i got about five and a half weeks left before baby river is here we just had an ultrasound today which was super exciting and he's measuring right on track for the due date that we had originally been given which was june 24th and we're just excited to meet him just getting all of the final preparations done but also over on our focused friday episodes we will be posting a ton of motivating content there to get 
our to-do list done and hopefully motivate you to get your to-do list done. So make sure you tune in for those. Click subscribe and click the little bell next to the subscribe button so you're notified when those do go up. And make sure you're subscribed because we're doing a 1,000 subscriber giveaway as soon as we hit that point, which we have less than 200 left to go. So we're really, really close. Thank you guys so much for watching. But for now, remember to stay humble, be kind, and we will see you Friday.